characteristics of sound waves. In this module, you will learn about the characteristics of sound waves. We hear a variety of sounds around us. We hear some sounds around us that are soft. Some sounds on the other hand are very loud. Some sounds we hear are shrill. Also, we get to hear some sounds of low pitch. Some sounds appear pleasant to us and we look forward to hear such sounds. Whereas some sounds make us feel annoyed. Before understanding what makes these sounds different from each other, let us recapitulate how a sound travels. We know that sound is a longitudinal wave and sound waves move in a medium as a series of compressions and rarefactions. We can also represent sound waves simultaneously in a density or pressure graph. Compressions as we know are the regions where the particles are crowded together. These regions are represented by the upper portion of the curve. The peak represents the region of maximum compression. Thus, compressions are the regions where the density as well as the pressure is high. Rarefactions are the regions where the particles are spread apart and are represented by the valley that is, the lower portion of the curve in the figure. Here also, the extreme bottom point represents the region of maximum rarefaction. Thus, rarefactions are the regions where the density as well as the pressure is low. A peak of the curve representing compressions is known as a crest and that of the valley representing rarefactions is known as a trough of the wave. The distance between two corresponding crests or two corresponding troughs or the distance between compressions or two consecutive rarefactions is called the wavelength of the wave. The wavelength is represented by the Greek letter lambda. Its SI unit is meter. Thus, we have seen that all sounds can be represented by waves. Each sound has its own wave. Each wave has certain characteristics that make the sounds around us different from each other. These characteristics are frequency, amplitude and quality. Let us learn about the characteristics of sound waves and their effects on the same. Let us start with frequency. Frequency tells us how frequently an event occurs. Suppose you are beating a drum. The number of times you beat the drum per unit time is called the frequency of the drum. If we beat the drum 10 times in one minute, we can say that its frequency is 10 beats per minute. We know that when sound waves propagate through a medium, the density of the medium oscillates between the maximum value and the minimum value. The change in the density between the maximum value to the minimum value and again to the maximum value makes a complete oscillation. The number of oscillations per unit time is called the frequency of the sound waves. Similarly, if we count the number of compressions or rarefactions that cross a particular region per unit time, we will get the frequency of the sound wave. Frequency is denoted by the symbol F and its SI unit is Hertz. 1 Hertz is defined as 1 oscillation or 1 cycle per second. Once we know the frequency, we can also get to know the time taken for one complete oscillation in the medium. That is, the time taken by two consecutive compressions or rarefactions to cross a fixed point. This is known as the time period, T, of the wave and is given as 
T equals 1 upon frequency F. Its unit is second S. Frequency is interpreted by our brain as pitch. It is the pitch that makes us differentiate the frequency of two sounds. To understand this, let us consider these two sounds. Blowing of a whistle and cooing of a cuckoo bird. In case of a blowing whistle, the waves are moving fast and hence the frequency is high. Thus it produces a high-pitched sound or shrill sound. Now let us come to the case of a cooing cuckoo. Here the waves are moving slow and hence the frequency is low. Thus the cooing of a cuckoo is a low-pitched sound. Thus the faster the vibration of the source, the higher is the frequency and higher is the pitch corresponding to that sound. Let us now come to another characteristic of sound, that is the amplitude. The maximum disturbance in a medium on either side of the mean position gives us the value of the amplitude of the wave. It is defined as the magnitude of maximum displacement of each particle from its mean position. It is represented by the letter A. Its SI unit is meter. It depends on the force with which the object is made to vibrate. If we strike a drum with lesser force, that is, if we strike a drum lightly, we hear a soft sound, as the sound produced is of low amplitude. However, if we strike the drum with more force, that is, if we strike the drum hard, we hear a loud sound, because in this case, the sound waves have large amplitude. Hence, the amplitude of the sound wave determines the loudness or softness of sound. Let us now learn about the third characteristic of sound, that is quality. For this, let's listen to some music. Is it a single instrument or are two instruments playing? For sure, there are two instruments playing. One sounds like a violin and the other one a sitar. Both the instruments were producing the sound with the same pitch and loudness. But still, we could identify the difference in the instruments because of the type of sound they are producing. The sound produced by every instrument has a unique characteristic that distinguishes it from other sounds with the same pitch and same loudness. This characteristic of sound is the quality or the timbre of the sound. The sound which is more pleasant to hear is said to be of a rich quality. The sound produced by both, the violin and sitar, are pleasant to listen to. Thus, these sounds are of rich quality. On the other hand, the sound produced by a tuning fork is not pleasant to hear and hence is of poor quality. Similarly, music is pleasant to hear whereas noise as in case of sound from vehicles and machines is unpleasant or irritating to our ears. Thus the sound of music is of rich quality whereas that of noise is of poor quality. This is how the characteristics of sound, that is, frequency, amplitude and quality, make the sounds around us so different. Let's recap. There are certain characteristics that make the sounds around us different from each other. 
These are frequency, amplitude and quality. The number of oscillations per unit time is called the frequency F of the sound wave. Its SI unit is Hertz. Frequency is interpreted by our brain as pitch. The faster the vibration of the source, the higher is the frequency and higher is the pitch corresponding to that sound. The magnitude of maximum displacement of each particle from its mean position is called amplitude A. Its SI unit is meter. The amplitude of the sound wave determines the loudness or softness of sound. The sound with greater amplitude is louder. The unique characteristic of sound that distinguishes it from other sounds with the same pitch and same loudness is the quality or the timbre of the sound. The sound which is more pleasant to hear is said to be of a rich quality.